Hi everybody, this is Arathus, and welcome back to my Phoenix Point experiment, where I'm trying to figure out which class is the most effective and efficient when you field an entire squad of that single class. Now, so far we've tried the Priests, the Berserkers, and the Infiltrators, and they've all done exceptionally well, although the Infiltrators are currently in the lead at being able to clear the Pandoran Citadel and the Scylla in a single turn, thanks to their crossbows and poison. Now, I was expecting the technicians to be the best at this, and they do have the potential. However, because of the rules of the challenge, being that you can only use the weapons for your class, which means that the technicians are restricted to PDWs, which kind of suck in this game, and no multi-classing, which means I cannot train my technicians to use assault rifles and shotguns and all that stuff. So, there you have it. So, it should be very interesting. These guys have the potential to take the lead, but because of their base weapon being kind of crappy, we gotta hope the turrets carry it for them. Now, to go over their skills real quick, they can deploy turrets. They can, let's see. Yeah, they use less action points to use med kits, stim packs, and the robotic arm strapped to their back. And I believe that's all up here. They also have the ability to throw turrets and deploy them rather than having to set them down they can retrieve and reload turrets and the most important ability for them well aside from electric reinforcement which gives everybody armor is manual control they can take over a turret and fire it manually which is great so let's get to it so the Scylla is right there glad we deployed where we can see it oh my god these guys deployed we already saw both of them that's not great that could be an interesting complication. So I can throw the turret. Yeah, let's put that. Since you can already see the Scylla, I'm assuming if I put this in front of you, you should be able to see the Scylla as well. No. Oh, crap. All right, well, you are going to try that again. Huh. Maybe next to this one? Because it says she can see the Scylla. The turret can now. Okay, cool. Take control. And let's see what these turrets can do. They're not very accurate at this range, though, which is also a problem. Oh, and the Scylla's half behind cover. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's... That, that's horrid. Um. <laughs> huh. Well, let's see what we can do with it, though. Now, in a normal mission, these guys would dominate because they could just basically sit back here and build a wall of turrets. In this, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. And I would love to flank, but we don't have enough movement points to flank and drop a turret. Although I might want to try it anyway. Let's finish off this turn, or this character, with the turret. Use all her action points on this. And then I might try for a better angle. I wish we could destroy the cover. Like, some cover's destructible. I don't think this one is, though, that we're shooting at right now in the Citadel. Alright. I mean, it's doing well. Who is our most forward soldier that can still move? You. Okay. I'm trying to see. If I move you here, I don't care that you spotted an enemy. Just keep moving. Again, don't care. Keep moving. The Scylla is the target. Okay. 
Okay, so we have this line right here. Ooh, that's gonna be tricky. Yeah, I think that's gonna block it. Still is pretty big though, so it might not. Let's see. You can still see the Scylla. Excellent. Let's see what our angle is on it. If I can... Oh, yes. Less cover. I can hit everything. Beautiful. Okay. The technicians are back in the running. Provided this has enough ammo. I love how the auto aim is like, how about we aim for the head and half our rounds might hit this wall. It's like, or let's not do that. Okay, so the only way that the technicians can dethrone the infiltrators who I sorely underestimated at the top of the leaderboard right now is to complete this in their turn and do it without any injuries or casualties. That's how. That's our grading criteria. How fast the Scylla dies, how many injuries, and how many deaths. Now, the infiltrators did it with no injuries, no casualties, but they didn't do it in their turn. They did it at the start of the Scylla's turn because of poison. So, if our dudes can kill, if our technicians can do this, this turn... Before and be without me hitting the end turn button, they'll jump to the top of the leaderboard. So that's what I'm hoping. Well, actually, they are my favorite class. So I'm not going to lie. I am rooting for them. But it's not a bad thing if the infiltrators still stay in the lead. <laughs> I like them, too. Although I usually gave them sniper rifles and spider drones instead of crossbows. But I may have to rethink that approach. Oh, you're facing me now. Why are you facing me now? Okay, the other thing that could limit us here is this thing running out of ammo. Which I think might happen before the Scylla dies. Yeah, maybe not. But yeah, more than anything, I found that this game is... Like, positioning is the most important thing in this game. Uh, your character's skills are important, but I feel like positioning is more. That's just my opinion, though. Oh, I think... I think the technicians are going to take this. Come on, let's see. And down went the Scylla. Okay. Well, there we have it, guys. The technicians are now in the lead. They finished it in their turn and didn't even use all of our squad members. We basically deployed one turret. Well, we deployed a couple, but we deployed two effective turrets and then started to control them. So this does lead me to believe, and this is something I've stated during the main campaign, that the technicians may just be a bit overpowered because what you could technically do, there doesn't appear to be a range on their manual control. So what you could technically do is send two runners forward and have them each deploy two turrets or even just one turret apiece and then have the whole rest of your squad. So take this, we had an eight man squad. Send two guys out, deploy one turret apiece, you know, on different angles. And then six people that can each, as long as they have full willpower and full action points, that can each manually control those turrets four times. That's 24 attacks from those turrets. With armor piercing and all kinds of nastiness. So yeah, I feel like, honestly, these dudes are a bit OP. But I love them. <laughs> so there you have it. With the next experiment, we are going to start moving on because this was the last of the specialty classes. We're going to move on to the base classes, so Assault, Sniper, and Heavy to see how they compete. And with that, that's all the time I have for today. So thank you all so very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.